How many Ramayans are there? Oh, there are thousands. People have written. But the original one was from Narada. That was Mula Ramayana, they say. He gave it to Valmiki uh, as an, like in the subtle. It was not even in the Vaikari level, you know. Narada is uh, Valmiki's uh, guru, right? So his guru told him and then he started, it started flowing to him. He wrote and then uh, there is also, uh, they say there is uh, Hanuman Ramayana. No? Because Narada only tells him, once he has completed, he tells his guru Narada and Valmiki that I have completed now. So he says, no, no, have you read <laughs> Hanuman's Ramayana? <laughs> so then he says, where will I find Harum Hanuman? Then he says, wherever there is a banana grove, you, you'll find him. <laughs> and then he goes into the grove, he searches and goes. And every banana leaf has this writing. He would have written, scribbled something, and that is the best thing, you know. And then even reading a few, his tears wouldn't stop. Tears of gratitude and tears of bliss and tears. And then later it turned out to be a tears of insecurity. Who will read my Ramayana? <laughs> if this is the quality of Ramayana, who is going to read my Ramayana? So that is when uh, Hanuman blessed Valmiki. Yours only will be the eternalized, eternal, you know. It will be available for everybody. So these things are very interesting, you know. We all know Sita, right? In some way or the other. But one thing, you know, that as you rightly said, stereotype, sometimes we only read that thing and then they say, this is how it is. Like, instead of uh, having such a judgment, you know, becoming judgmental, uh, I thought, uh, you know, Pitaji always used to say, my father, he used to say that uh, we should know more light and less known. He used to write so many series of books he has written. These are the less known uh, nature, side of Sita that, uh, because when you have a conversation about Sita, mostly they will say the uh, world was unjust to her and, and she was a weak personality, huh? submissive. Uh, very submissive and then uh, there is no fire in her and she was just following Ram or she was uh, made to be like that. But I, uh, for me, uh, Sita has been always uh, very strong. You, whether you take Valmiki Ramayana or Kamba Ramayana, or you know, there's many uh, instances where you can see her strength, a subtle strength. So these are very beautiful aspect of Sita that I really wanted to express. You know? just seem to know her intimately. Like you, you know, you, you know her inside out. Mm -hmm. Where do you get that insight from? <laughs> <laughs> See, when you read a character, when you understand about them, you get an insight. And there are many instances which leads us to believe this fact. It's not just some airy fairy idea, or, you know, just it's not a hallucination. But there are, as I said, uh, less known instances wherein we can really recognize and then I feel uh, when you uh, gain insight into that uh, higher field maybe you know when your mature mind I would say <laughs> or a calmer mind can relate to it. So usually quietness, meekness yeah. is seen as a weakness yeah. but in her in this book, the excerpts which I was privileged to read now, mm -hmm. uh, this the strength came out of that same thing which people thought was weak was actually her strength, and which was never seen as strength before in all the other uh, mm -hmm. uh, depictions of uh, Sita till today. Mm -hmm. and that was so so endearing and. Yeah, Gurudev always often says about, you know, how one should be assertive and not aggressive. That I saw that nature in uh, Sita. That is what is real empowerment. When you know your strength, then nobody need to say, oh, you're so strong. You know that you're strong. So that was her nature. And uh, being silent doesn't mean that you're weak. So much strength is there. That is the essence in life.
that was uh, what Ram was for her. Ra Sita's Atma was Ram, right? And uh, Gurudev says, he said, you know, how the, he explains the whole Ramayana is happening in our life uh, every day. Ram is the self and Sita is the mind. And Lakshman is the awareness and Hanuman is the um, prana, you know, the breath. So, and Ravan is the ego. <laughs> Who doesn't have ego, tell me. <laughs> So like that ego, uh, like salt in uh, food, that much ego is appreciable. But when you have the ego, even we can have the ego of knowledge, be I am so well, well known, well versed, that was Ravan's ego, right? The, when the mind is in the present moment, it is full of awareness, but when it slips a little, or when it is not with the self, in the self, and it's outward, you know, then uh, ego also can take over, you no? Know? That's when you require the breath, attention again to bring the mind back to the present moment, uh, to f uh, be in the self. So these things are happening in our mind. These explanation also, I was just blown now <laughs> over when Gurudev said about this. Other than that, you know, there is so much to know in life. When you realize that, then more things are revealed to you. What is the takeaway? What is there to learn in, out of Sita's life? The insight that you have, you know, the way you have explained her life, and you have gone into her mind, and which no one else, I have not really seen anyone else do. You know, so, what would you say we can take away from her life? Uh, book you can take. <laughs> <laughs> book has all the whole thing. <laughs> um, book has. <laughs> yeah. That we can learn from her life. Yeah, I know. Uh, yes, there is a subtle strength which is uh, we have. Physical strength is another thing which is okay, but that subtle strength st uh, that uh, one has already that we have we can recognize it through her uh, character. It shows. And then if you see Janaka uh, was that king who was full of uh, wisdom. That was the uh, strength of uh, character Janaka had. And he, if you are brought up in that atmosphere, naturally you have that uh, strength. Mind is very strong. So here Sita was trained in all that. Uh, aspect. Being, you know, uh, like you said, the daughter of Chalaka, a princess, she must have been trained in not just uh, mental, uh, you know, how to call the people, but all types of right, everything. 64 colors, they say. Colors. Even archery, she was very good. And um, cooking, she was good. <laughs> Horse riding, everything is mentioned in that. So going, so going by that, you know, mm. is Let's say if Ravan kidnapped her and took her, she didn't really have to be no. this docile person yeah. sitting over there in the yes. garden. Yes. She could have fought it because she had all the colors. So, uh, she chose not to. That is the beauty. Uh, when you are so strong, still you don't, you have not used it because if she chose love over uh, uh, strength or emotions. In fact, uh, she knew her role role play this she has come for this role so she played all the role perfectly that is what uh, i have understood and she could have chosen a different way but she chose to be like this that is her strength so when you know that you can do this uh, you can do this work even faster but she chose uh, patiently uh, she ha she gave the chance for rama also this is ramayana no <laughs> about ram right also, you know, when uh, she got married, Janaka told her how she, you have to follow your dharma. Dharma is always with the husband, next to him. And she understood it in the right sense. It's not like I am submissive, I am, you know, um, I have been oppressed, no. She said, I am playing supportive role for him. I am supporting him because he loves me. She had no doubt on her, his love. She had total devotion, faith and love. Sidi, what is uh, about Agni Pariksha? 
because that is something I could never understand growing up. And uh, why would Rama even make Sita go through something like that? Is it really a ritual or is it uh, symbolic of something else? It is. Uh, many things are symbolic here. And see, Agni, um, Agni Pariksha, in fact, uh, recently Gurudev explained about it so nice. Even I used to have this doubt, you know, why Agni Pariksha? That is why I didn't like Rama those days. <laughs> the explanation what Gurudev said was that it is the fire of humiliation, you know, when somebody doubts you. Mm -hmm. And uh, how you feel you have the humiliation is more, it's the toughest thing that especially coming from your loved ones, you know. Sita always represented mind, right? So when you are strong in your mind, nobody can humiliate you. See, very interestingly, there are five types of uh, Agnis we have, you no? Know? Bhut Agni, that is the fire in the body, that is what differentiate between corpse and uh, living being, right? And then we have Jatra Agni for uh, digestive uh, Agni, fire. And then there is uh, um, Kama Agni, you know, that desire and lust. And there is Badaba Agni, which is what is the fire of humiliation, which is the toughest to even cross. Uh, people get up, you know, affected by that. That's, that is connected to ego also. And then there is this uh, Prema Agni or Gnana Agni, which is both same. You know, when you cross over this humiliation, there's only uh, Prema or love. And she was both, she had that, that is why we, I said eternal love. <laughs> she, infinite love, you can say. So she knew about it. So the humiliation or nothing. She never thought it was humiliation. She just said, she just took it. Now if you have seen, uh, if some people want to, uh, if they're praying or manat rakte hai. So they walk over the fire. Have you seen yes. that uh, they walk oh. there? Nothing happens to them. See, it's physically also it is possible, but this is mainly that mental uh, state that is representative. Of, uh, already when we understand her from that perspective, uh, and it was not difficult for her at all. So, and, and Rama knew that it won't be difficult for her. And Rama, their love was so unique, there was no place for doubt there. So where is the humiliation? So that is why he just said, okay, I know. And he also told when Brahma came and told, there is a story in uh, Valmiki, Ramayana only, they, uh, Brahma comes and says, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to her? You know, So he says, don't worry, Sita knows. Huh? And uh, she, I know that she is very pure, but let the people also who are ignorant, they should also, any amount of explanation, they won't understand, they will also come to know. So these are the times I would say that mystical aspect or magical aspect also came about, no? So something, you know, when even amid so much of conflict, how you can find peace? That is the beauty in Ramayana. There's so much of, so many kit pit pit. <laughs> and this one said that, that one said that, this one happened, everything, story after story, there is chances for us to be dragged down from the self. but. Uh, the focus is, okay, now uh, her focus was only Ram. No, she was not born for anything else but Ram. No? So looking at Ram from Sita's eye is so beautiful.